Today on this Throwdown episode, we're going to be making some bomb air fryer hold to lop your baby. Look at that. Look at the results. I did not come to play just the same way with the recipe that I shared on Instagram. This one doesn't play either. I don't think you're even ready. This thing is bomb. Let's get to making it. Welcome back to yet another Throwdown episode. I know, I know this month, Nimekua Quiet, I've been MIA, but I've been working on something very special. It's up my sleeve. For those of you who want to check out what the special thing is, make sure you check out the community tab. There's a little snippet there for you. Welcome to the new Throwdown lovers who are here. I'm Mandy Saro, and what we do here at MMTD is enhance your cooking skills, cooking knowledge, and take you on a global culinary journey. All you need to do is check out our playlist, check out the shorts, get to learn much more of what we do here at MMTD. Today we're making air fryer whole tilapia. When I posted this recipe on my Instagram, y'all went nuts. The comment section was lit. Let me read some of the comments that we got. Hotanisha Mudoni said, wow, this looks so good. Honestly, I didn't know you could air fry fish. Amazing. Let emoji kwanza. And then when I finally dropped the recipe, you guys went nuts and a lot of you tried the recipe. One person who really stood out to me was the fact that she came there, asked questions, and immediately, immediately tried the recipe. Char loved. And she went ahead to say, this fish was absolutely crispy. I made the air fryer tilapia using your recipe and I'm never frying again, ever. Thanks. So let me show you how this recipe is so bomb. I elevated what I posted. Of course, I'm the throwdown queen. So let's get into it. First up, we have our whole tilapia here and we're gonna go ahead to score it. We also have olive oil. Our spices include black pepper, coriander, cayenne pepper, that's completely optional, and salt. We're gonna go ahead and score our fish. We're gonna go ahead and pat down dry the fish. This is very important. Now we're gonna start things off by applying this with oil. And I just want the oil everywhere so we can get a really good crispy fish. We have our spices here that I'm just mixing up. And we're just gonna generously put this on the fish. We're opening up the places that we squared the fish and sprinkling in the rub. And notice I'm not rubbing it, I'm just patting it on. I'm just gonna flip the fish over. I'm seasoning the inside of the pouch as well. And then lastly, I'm just gonna hit it with just a little bit more salt, especially around the head. Um, it usually has like really good meat around here. I don't want the fish to not have any seasoning anywhere. And now that we've seasoned the fish, we're gonna preheat our air fryer and pop it in there. You guys know the drill. Gotta start things off by preheating your air fryer to get some really good results. Now, there's something that I do have to share when it comes to the air fryer. This is definitely a baddie that you need in the kitchen, mainly because you'll save on time, save on cooking gas, save on cooking oil. And we all know cooking oil prices are not that sweet right now. However, when you have an air fryer, the good thing is you can get the same consistent results once you know your timings. And you know I'm the throwdown queen. I'm gonna stay giving you recipes that help you throw down really well with the air fryer. Now, once the air fryer is done uh, preheating is when we're gonna grease the tray and pop in our fish and let the magic happen. Air fryer is nice and preheated. One thing that I always do is of course grease it. You can use cooking spray as well. And if you can just like grease even just around a little bit just in case the fish touches the sides. And we're gonna place it. Yeah, that's a little, yeah, that's good. I'm gonna be air frying this for 22 minutes. At 200, we're gonna flip it at the halfway mark. Let's go. 
It has been 11 minutes. Time for us to take out our fish and flip it over. And we're just gonna go ahead and flip it. Be careful so you cannot break the fish. This part is... flipped over the fish. We're gonna pop it back in. While the fish is cooking for the rest of the 11 minutes, I'm gonna make a quick sauce. Um, we have ginger and garlic paste, some cilantro like stems and leaves, um, a quarter of like a chicken stock, ketchup. We're gonna use water as well and some more chilies. I like it with a little bit of heat. So we have our pan nice and hot. We're just gonna add in or a three quarter tablespoon of olive oil. We're cooking this until fragrant. This is one chili that I cut up. And because we don't want it to burn, we're adding in the ketchup. Water. adding in our cube, our chicken stock cube. The chicken stock will provide the sauce with the saltiness that it needs. I really love a lot of ginger and garlic in the sauce. You can definitely go less. Also, we're gonna just add in just a little splash of dark soy sauce. There we go. The beauty about this sauce, we've cooked it in about six to seven minutes. We're just adding in the cilantro that we had cut up. Infuse for about a minute. And we're good to go. If at any point your sauce is too thick and you want it to loosen up, you can always add just a little bit of water. Notice I didn't pour the whole thing. And you can see that it's bubbling already. And after, what, 25 seconds, I'm just gonna turn it off and leave it there as we wait for our fish. Look at it! Two more minutes to go! I'm just feeling the skin to feel how crispy it is and it feels so good. Oh, love it. It's been 22 minutes. You guys are not even ready. Look at the results, look at the results, look at the results. Really crispy skin. I'm gonna take this out carefully. As you can see, that is a beautiful piece of fish. So we're just gonna pour the sauce onto the fish. And I like sauce on one side. If you've watched my fish fillet videos, or any of my fish videos, then you know I like sauce on one side and crispiness on the other. Let's spread around the sauce. Look at that, it looks so good. That looks divine. This fish right here takes about, what, with the prep included, 30 minutes to make, perfect for a weekly night dinner meal. And it's full of flavor, full of protein. And oh, you know, not just one person can eat it, plenty of people can eat it too. Before I devour this, because I know it's gonna be a messy situation, I do wanna say though, that you guys get a subscribe. Don't be that person who's just watching and not like, you know, committing the whole way. Commit the whole way. Join the Throwdown Lovers Squad where we do things different over here. Also, for those of you who are new, I am so happy that you're here. You've landed at the right perfect spot. Know anybody that loves themselves some fish, Please share with them this recipe so that they can save on cooking oil, save on time, and achieve the same results when they deep fry. Do remember that you can apply this recipe on any type of whole fish. All you gotta do is just tweak it to how you like it, of course, flavor-wise. And don't forget all the details are in the description box below. If this recipe is something that make you happy, Leave your favorite emoji in the comment section below. I will respond with my favorite emoji. In the meantime, though, I've talked a lot. I've given a lot of tips. I'm salivating. 
it's time for me to devour the fish. I'm salivating! <laughs> Lord! Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. You need this recipe? 